Hi there, Richard here from On Demand Education. In this short snippet, we'll examine how the EAI Dispatch Service helps Buzzient and Siebel Enterprise integrate together for social engagement. We'll look specifically at how the lookup method facilitates querying for existing contacts. In a Buzzient and Siebel integration, it is possible to manually create service requests and other objects using a hyperlink like this. However, it is usual to create automated filters to enable Buzzient to create service requests and other objects automatically when social posts meet your criteria. Here's an example of a service request that was created by the Buzzient integration. You can see there's a variety of identifying information and also content from the social message inside Siebel Enterprise. The author link, for example, is extremely useful since it uniquely identifies a social author. Let's see how Siebel Tools and Siebel Enterprise together assist in the integration with Buzzient. The standard workflow includes two steps. One step using the dispatch service and one step using the EAI Siebel adapter. Taking a closer look at the dispatch service step, we can see there is a rule set and a Siebel message representing the inbound message coming from Buzzient. In the outputs, we can see that various properties are taken from the output and mapped in Siebel workflow process properties. Let's take a look at the administration integration EAI dispatch service view and examine this rule set in more detail. The rule set has only one rule to take the entire hierarchy and has several transforms, each one of which is tasked with retrieving one attribute from the inbound XML. Returning to Siebel tools, we can examine the EAI Siebel adapter step and observe that one of the properties is used as part of the search spec to query for an existing contact using this unique author identity. That's it for today. Proof that the lookup method is not just for testing purposes. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.